Good evening. It's my privilege to install the 2015-2016 PIA of New York officers and directors. I do so with pride because these individuals, your new officers and directors, are truly the best of the best. When I call your name, please stand. Nominated for a three-year term expiring in 2018, Leslie C. Rogoff from New York, New York. Please stay standing. Okay, okay. okay, okay. Richard Andrews, L-U-T-C-F from Ithaca, New York. Fred Hollander, CLU, CPCU, CHFC, MSFS, from Buffalo, New York. <laughs> Anthony Camus from Flushing. <laughs> Francis A. Scott from Goshen, New York. Gary Slavin from East Hills, and he's a CLT, CLTC, CIC. Gene Sandy, CIC from Syosset. And Tim Dean, CIC, CRM from Poughkeepsie, New York. Please remain standing. Also nominated for two-year term expiring 2017 is Gino A. Areno, CPIA of Corona, New York. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> now I'd like to introduce our new officers for the upcoming term. President is Gene Sandy. President-elect John Parsons. First Vice President Paul Cachero. Vice President Jamie Ferris. Vice President Fred Hollander. Treasurer John Tomasi, Secretary Bruce Rolage, and immediate past president Tony Cabrera. <laughs> As newly elected officers and directors, you will be expected to uphold the Constitution and bylaws of your state and national association, and to make your decisions as officers and directors with conscientious judgment as to what is best for the fellow members you represent. By the authority vested in me by PIA at the close of our annual business meeting tomorrow, you are hereby installed to the office for which you have been duly elected. And congratulations to all. I'm not sure what's next on the agenda. Eat. Congratulations. Thank you. This is open bar. Open bar sounds good. <laughs> there will be after this. <laughs> uh, sorry about this, but it sucks to get old. Thank you, Scott. And congratulations to Sean, Lou, Justin, Guy, Henry, and Alan for the recognition that is well deserved. Most of you here tonight have been friends and fellow members for years. 
I have been part of the PIA for decades. I joined the board after taking part in the Long Island Association in 2003. Looking around the room, I realize that compared to most of you, I'm still relatively young. <laughs> Heck, I've been in the industry for 40 years. I'm still a new, young guy among you. Don't let the gray hair fool you. <laughs> but seriously, I'm not big on speeches, and in fact, I hate them. So I'll keep this short. I want to start by thanking my wife, Eve, for making the trip up here and for her support, without which I would never be able to take the time needed to be part of PIA. Except, I think she kind of likes it when I come up here to Bel uh, Glenmont. <laughs> Since it's nice and quiet at home when I'm here. I want to thank Alan, Rich, Steve, and Jeff for all their help and advice throughout the years. And I'd be remiss if I didn't thank Marshall Rubenstein for helping introducing me to PIA and being my mentor. In addition, I want to thank Tony for all he's done for PIA and for me this year. Under Tony's leadership, PIA has built its position of strength and reputation throughout New York State and on a national level. <coughs> we have done more networking. <laughs> we have done more networking and raised our profile in Western New York and continue to work with carriers and other parties in the industry to the benefit of our members everywhere. This year has been an extremely successful year on legislative and regulatory fronts. During Tony's administration, PIA achieved major victories, including finally getting the Certificate of Insurance Bill signed into law and introducing the auto inspection requirements so members and our clients have time now to comply with regulations that have been reduced to keep up with current times and technology. We never could have expected the challenges we face in planning the annual conference in Atlantic City this year. And yet, by all accounts, it and each of our reps were a huge success. More fun, more profitable, and we can boast that more New York agents attended the PIA conference in Atlantic City than any other time in a year in memory, even outnumbering the New Jersey agents this year. Well done to all involved. Tony, we are indebted to you and your administration for laying the foundation for those of us to follow. Thank you for a great year, and I always say, you'll be a hard act to follow, but I'll do my best. Okay, let's go on to this year. I want to focus on getting this message out. PIA is great at helping agents run and market their business. As business people ourselves, we are at great at marketing our own agencies. I want to put this expertise to work for PIA. I want each of us to think about and act upon developing PIA membership. This is a pivotal time for our association, and I want PIA to be at the forefront of our industry minds. The same goes for company relationship. I want to make sure our carriers know who we are. Every carrier that does business within the independent agent system should recognize the importance of PIA. My goal this year falls in the category of raising awareness and name recognition for PIA. Among the industry, among the policymakers, among the companies, and most of all, among independent agents. We exist as an organization to do just this. Of course, we need to continue to build our relationship with lawmakers and regulators to provide the best service and stay current with technology to help our members. But what good is it if nobody knows what we're doing? It is the goal. I am asking each of you for your help. While it seems trite 
They are such a committed group of professionals to help build engagement. We need to look beyond this room to young professionals and other agents, even those who are already members. Because as we know, the more we put in, the more we get out of this association. And the more we put in, the more invested we become. And the more we learn and know about PIA and what it has to offer. We certainly need marketing material and campaigns. But we'll, that will not, most of our success will come one agent at a time. I know we'll be successful because we are the most engaged, influential, and passionate people I've ever known are right here in this room. Your commitment to PIA, your dedication and work ethics is apparent every time we get together in Glenmont during committee meetings, on conference calls, and at events. It's contagious. All you have to do is reach out. So let's reach out this year and share the pride <coughs> each of us has in PIA this year. Thank you.